breaking news. Is it gold or is it silver? Who knows? Let's find out as Shannon takes these treasures to the acid test. Warning, what you are about to watch contains dangerous acids. Unlike Shannon, please use protective gear while handling these acids. Follow the manufacturer's guidelines. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna check all of our gold and silver and see exactly what we've found by using the Puri test. This is uh, a bunch of acid. We have from 10K all the way to 24 and silver. Uh, and this is our stone, but we'll talk about the stone later. All right, so we're gonna open this up and I'll explain this whole thing to you. All right, so first we have our 10K 14K, 18, 22, silver, and platinum. We're not going to be using this today. I don't think we have any platinum. What we're going to be using the most today is the 14K. Most jewelry is made of 14 karat gold. This is our scratch plate. Let me open the box here. This is our scratch plate. It's made of like a, it's a stone. It's a porous stone. See it? We just lay that in front of us like this. All right, so what we're going to do is take our 14K. Let me open it. Don't get this stuff in your eyes, which means don't get it on your hands. Also. Also, yeah. Who remembers that? <laughs> also, yeah. All right. So we have it open. All right, so I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be testing today. We have a whole treasure chest full of stuff that if you guys have watched our channel, then you would know all the rings we found and all of our gold chains and everything. So I'm gonna lay those out for you. This is everything that me and Lovely has found in the ocean, all of our stuff, treasures. I'm gonna lay them out right now. Also earlier, we found a little piece of a gold chain. I don't know what we did with that. I think it's in my camera case. We're not gonna to be testing that. All right, so we're gonna be testing this little ring here. Um, we're gonna be testing this. We're even gonna test all of our stainless stuff just to make sure it's stainless. We have this stainless gold chain. Pretty sure it's stainless. We'll see. The acid will tell the truth. All right. We have this silver necklace. Stainless. But we'll see. And we have much my ring there. Let's see. We have this ring here. Stainless. We'll see. You guys keep in track of how many times I'll say we'll see. All right, we have this gold ring. This is a gold ring. That's my bet, said anyway. Stainless. This is a stainless ring, but we're going to check it anyway. I think this is a stainless ring too, but we'll see. Another ring? Stainless. We'll see. We have this watch, but we're not going to test the watch. Because the back of the watch says stainless. It doesn't say we'll see though. Another gold ring? And... 
sense. This could be silver. Doesn't have any 925. Oh wait, yeah, it does. It has something on the inside, so maybe this is something. We'll see. All right, another ring, stainless. This little chain ring, stainless. But you never know. This ring here, we already know it's stainless. I'm not even gonna check this one. The novelty ring. Uh, here we go. This is one without a gem. We'll check it. I believe this is silver. I suspect this is gold. We'll see. And this little guy here, our last one. Maybe gold. All right, so this is all the jewelry that we're gonna test today. Ooh. Oh, let's get into it. All right, so this is the scratch board. I can't explain the, the texture of it. It's like a, it's like the underside of a ceramic tile. What you're supposed to do is take, I'm gonna test this gold one first. This little tiny piece of gold here, maybe, allegedly. But what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'll show you. You just take your ring and you scratch it on this plate until you get a line. I'll show you here in a minute. All right, see this line? You want to scratch it to where you, if it's a if it's a nice looking ring, you don't want to scratch it and to damage it. So you just want to find an inconspicuous place on that item and scratch it as I have done. So what this acid does when you pour the acid on <clears throat> a portion of this gold line that I had made, <clears throat> if it disappears, then that means it's not 14k. That means the 14K acid is too strong for this line. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not gold. It could mean that it's 18K or greater. So we're going to start off with the 14K. So what I'm going to do is put a little drop here and let it roll itself down just like that. See how that line disappeared? That means it is less than 14 karat gold. So this is not a 14 karat gold ring. So, which means we grab the 10, 10 karat. I should have opened all these, sorry. I'm probably gonna cut that out. Cause I'm a professional editor. I'm not really gonna edit that out. I want people to know I'm stupid. All right, so it's not 14 K. We're gonna put the 10K on it. If the 10K does not eat this line away, if it does not eat it, then it's 10K. If it eats it, then it's not real gold. Drum roll. All right. You see how the line is still there? That is 10 karat gold ring. It's very little, very cute and lovely found this one. I don't know who found what, but I do know she found this one. So this is 10K. I should mark that, that way I know. It's on the video. So when you're done, you just clean it vigorously. And I'll wash my hands when I'm done with this. Don't, don't let me forget, okay? I have to wash my hands. So I'm cleaning it, getting it ready for the next one. So we have one 10 karat gold. So let's test uh, this other alleged gold ring. This is a wedding band. I'm pretty sure this one was found at uh, Silliman Beach, along with all our other gold rings. 
So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna scratch, scratch, scratch. I'm gonna get my line on there. Nice and bold line. Everybody see that from this little ring here? We're gonna start off with 14. What we're hoping for is the 14K does not eat it. All right, let's put it on there. Oh, this is a 10K, by the way. Okay, so the 10K has not dissolved. So we know it's at least 10 carat. See it? The line's still there. And when this acid eats this gold off this block, it eats it completely away. All right, so now let's see if this is 14K or greater. So in the middle, oh, see how the line disappears? This is a 10 karat gold ring. All right. So let's clean this off. So we found gold in the Philippines. Lovely thinks they're all fake. All right, just to show you guys what it's like when you uh, do something that's not gold at all. I know this isn't gold. The way you do a chain is you ball the chain up. If you think it's a valuable chain, then you might not want to do this because you're going to scratch your chain up. Also, the clasp, this one doesn't have a clasp. But sometimes the clasp are gold and the chain is not. So I'm just going to scratch vigorously, get my line on there. All right, everybody sees the line. I'm going to go ahead and throw that into the stainless because I know stainless when I see it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the 10K to eliminate it. Why is the line still there? Oh, are you serious? People, the line is still there. I was not expecting that. All right, let's put the 14K on that. It still shows the line. I'm going to let that set like a pregnancy test. <laughs> Why is that doing that? All right, so just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and throw the 18 on there. If that's an 18 karat gold ring or a necklace, that's money. This whole time we've had that? All right, 18K, people. I don't get it. It's all still there. It only means one thing. That could be a 24 karat gold necklace. No way. Let's check it. There's no way. No way. I'm gonna do that again. This time we're gonna put the 24 karat gold acid on it. Vigorously. I mean, the chain is heavy. It didn't have a clasp when we got it. So we couldn't, there was no stamps on it. No, you know, no stamps. Here we go, 22, this is 24. Let's go. The line's still there. But you see it's barely there. strange okay so 
This test does not lie. It's greater than 22 karat, which means that is a 24 karat gold necklace. That's crazy. That's, that's insane. And the 22 was the strongest of the uh, acid. Nothing survives that. I need glasses. <laughs> Let's just move on. All right. Here we have allegedly a stainless steel ring. Could be, could be solar. There's our line. And since I think it's silver, you could use 18 karat for the silver, or you could just use the silver solution, which we're gonna go ahead and do that. 18K will eat stainless 925. Boom. My little eye drop. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's put it on there. Let's see what it does. Uh-oh. Do we have a clog? Okay, I'm just going to put the 18K on that. I got to research why that silver solution is not pouring out. Okay. It ate through. So it is not a stainless ring. It is a, can you guess? It is a, that's oh, a stainless ring. It's not sterling silver. Okay, let's move on. So stainless into the stainless box. All right, here we have this little heart ring. I don't, I don't know who found this one. Ooh. But I suspect this is silver. Since it's not a decorative ring, I'm going to go ahead and scratch it. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, that's a shiny one. Look at that. It's a soft metal, so it could be silver. So I'm going to take the 18K on that. As you can see, Turn blue. If it turns blue, it is silver. Forgot to mention that. <clears throat> Whenever this acid touches silver, it turns blue. Let's move the light over here so you can maybe see that blue, that blue hue. That, my friends, is silver ring. So we found gold and we found silver. Yay. I'm going to use this acid to wash my stone. Don't tell nobody. I'm really going to have to wash my hands. Okay, back to a brand new stone now. Clean stone. Let's see. Let's check out this little guy here, this little heart ring. Ooh, it used to have a gemstone. I can't tell if it does now or not. I never researched any of these rings. I just took pictures to show y'all. So I'm going to make my mark. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gold mark. We're going to take the old 14. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. You see how the gold disappeared? It's not 14 karat gold ring. So let's see if it's 10 karat. Which one of these rings showed a nine karat on there or a nine and a half? Let it run down it. Okay, see how the line's still there. This is a 10 karat gold ring. This little guy here. Okay, we'll put that in our gold pile. Boop, boop. 
clean our stone again. I should have done this live, but I don't have enough subscribers, so it'd be very boring. It'd just be like one or two of you. All right, so let's go with uh, the suspected silver again. Remember, if it turns blue, silver. One of these rings lovely wears. I think it's this one. Another soft metal. We'll take the old 18K and we're looking for blue. Oh, what do you guys see? I see blue. So this is a 925 ring. Pretty blue, huh? You guys probably can't see it like I see it. Try to. It's cool, it's cool looking blue. So we have three gold and one silver so far. Still not sure about that necklace. That necklace should be stainless. I don't know. All right, let's do this big alleged silver one. Allegedly silver. Strike it on there, let's do it. Now I can tell already just by scratching that this is not a silver ring. It's not soft, it doesn't scratch on very easy. So let's take the old 18, drop it on there. Boom, we have a stainless. See how there's no blue? So we have a stainless ring there. But you can, sometimes you can just feel it. I know I can just feel a ring and say that's stainless or, now if it's platinum, I don't know. I'm not gonna test platinum. I know it's not a platinum ring. So throw that in the old stainless bucket. Another silver one. Let's see if this is real silver. It feels like it in my hand. I don't know if you can see the... It's very decorative. Probably can't. I'm going to go ahead and scratch. Oh, scratched on very easily. Take the old 18K. Oop. And we have silver, people. Silver, you see the blue? It's blue. I'm not using my uh, phone's light. I just don't want to. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. All right. So that is a stainless or a 925 silver ring. This one, I'm going to say it's stainless. I'll know on a scratch. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's stainless. See, I'm scratching it and there's hardly anything. But with that soft silver, it goes on very, very smooth. So we'll take a little bit of the 18K, looking for the blue. Nothing, silver. See it? Nothing. So another stainless ring. Stainless is very common here. So we'll throw that. Over there, over there, as they say in the Philippines, over there. Right, this is a silver ring there. This one I told you I'm not gonna test. This is a stainless novelty ring. All right, here we go. This is another one that has lost its gemstone. Uh, it could be gold, could be silver. Let's, let's check it. Went on very nice, very easy. Mm. Okay, it's still there. Didn't turn blue and it's still there. Could be a 22 white gold. Wait, is it blue? Yeah, it's turning blue. That's hard to see. Oof. So let's put the old 22. If it's silver, this 22 will eat. Oh, there it is turning blue now. I see it. I'm going to put the 22 on the other side of it. I want you guys to see what it does to the silver. It eats it away. See, on the other side is blue. So this is a 925 silver ring. We have four silver rings. And three gold rings. 
so far because we have another gold ring right here. This one's pretty cool. It looks like old gold. Let's see. Let's put it on there. Boom, 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 boom. Went on very easy. And I'm going to put the 14 on there. Oop. And it ate it away. See how it ate that line right away? So it's not 14. We're going to go with the 010. See if it's a 10 karat gold ring. And it is. In fact, I think. No, I don't know. One of our rings has 9 karat written on the inside of it. But you see how the 14 ate the line away and the 10 didn't? That is a 10 karat gold ring. So we're four for four. We have four 925 sterling silvers and we have four gold rings. I haven't been keeping track of what carat those gold rings are. Here's another suspected stainless ring. For sure a stainless ring. See, I scratched hard and it barely made a mark. Put the old 18K juice on there and it's still there. I don't know why. Maybe because it needs the 22. Let's see. I'm thinking that's just what it does to the stainless. I don't know. Stainless leaves a hard mark on there, but it doesn't eat it away. All right, here we go. Another suspected, suspected silver ring. It feels like silver. I can just tell by the way I'm, I can just tell. And it went on super easy. And we're looking for that blue. Not sure why that's taken a while, but it's blue. So we have another 925 silver ring. So we have five silver rings and four gold rings. Pretty cool. Oh, that stands. I'm not even going to check that. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I know this is a little bit different. I'm not underwater talking through a mask. But I wanted to do that before we got too many rings. I don't want to sound arrogant, but when you have too many rings, it's just can't keep track of anything so i think right now we found up to 14 rings even though we didn't test all of them because some of them we threw away my fingers burning so i gotta go see you guys on the next adventure thank you for joining me on this one rock on